everybody, John Abinka here. Greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana. As you can see, it is just an absolutely beautiful day out here. The temperature is 59 degrees. Okay, we're gonna go through downtown Indianapolis today. I don't know why, but I don't like going, taking that 465. I'd rather just stick on 70 than 65. It seems like taking 465 is, I don't know, psychologically takes forever. I don't know why that is. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. Okay, Hardee's from here, it is 335, wait, wait, 335 by way of taking 465, recalculating, 334, one mile shorter this way, okay, that'll work. Roughly five hours and 50 minutes. Guess what? It turns out not too far from uh, Winchester, Virginia lives a really, really good friend of mine. In fact, her and I kind of grew up as little preteens. She uh, got married to somebody in Royal, Virginia. And that's where she lives. I haven't seen her at least 20 years. I was gonna go see her yesterday, but yeah, it didn't work out. And yeah, we belong to the same small island of uh, Kamigian Island. You can Google search that or map. It's C A M I G U I N. Kamigian Island in the Philippines. Right now, it's the celebration of what the Catholics call back home Holy Week, which is Easter. Kind of weird and kind of sad though because the Philippines is uh, man, they, they still they'll, they'll still look for volunteers to be literally literally be crucified on a cross as a representation of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and it just it do, they don't need to do that anymore it's been done it's it's gone it's it, but I guess that's their way well back home in the island Kamigin Island is somewhat of a a very famous destination for vacationers worldwide most especially on Holy Week that place can get really populated for 
one week. The whole island is only 63 kilometers around. You could you could walk it in a day and a half or a day. And most people, they have this... Oh, how would I translate that in English? Uh, they will walk the island. In uh, somewhat of a promise or... Uh, Supposedly, if you walk the island and do your penance or something like that, then you will be blessed or something. Which is totally contrary to what the Bible teaches, because saving grace is just that alone. Grace, not by works. They have their ways, so... So anyway, in the island, we have... Uh, we have what we call the White Island. Basically, it's just a white... Very white cyan bar in the middle of the ocean, which is like a 10-minute ride from Kamigit Island. And it's very, very famous. And if you're not careful, especially with a very light skin, you can get cooked real easy, real fast. I've seen light-skinned people soak in the sun, and they, you know, they're thinking, well can't be that bad but the reflection of the sand I think amplifies it and next thing you know they're they're cooked but my favorite island is called uh, Magsaysay Island or commonly known to us as Mantigi Island and that's a real island because it's got trees and people living in it and but it's a very small island you can walk around it for I don't know five ten minutes and that's kind of closer to my house Migin Island is only seven kilometers from the main island of Mindanao. And our our side of the island facing Mindanao is the closest point to Mindanao. That's exactly how and why my dad picked that place. because it's the nearest point to uh, to the po uh, port in Palingwan. You know that seven kilometers of ocean between the two islands? I've seen some of the roughest oceans I've seen some the roughest, biggest wave that come out of that place. Oh, man. And the only, at that time, the only boat that we have was well, on those that ate. People still use like a, like a canoe with outriggers on them. Usually with a 10 horsepower engine in it. I think I told you this. If you can Google pump boat, if 
Philippine pump boat and you'll see what I'm talking about. But that island consists of seven volcanoes. Uh, at least three hot springs, two waterfalls, and I think one uh, cold spring. Which I don't understand why the water is cold coming from the earth. Which is weird, right? I thought it'd be hot. Right now my goal is to make it to the pilot in Hebron, Indiana, get us some get us some fuel and head home.